Jerwa, I'm Ashley Lisa Martinez, and today is Monday, January 29th. And I'm Sarah Wilson, and this is your Tick News. Students, check with your homeroom teacher and make sure you receive your new schedule. Your schedule is designed for you. Besides your core classes, you have important intervention classes that will help you grow academically and prepare you for the state test. So make sure you follow your own schedule. That also means attendance matter. Missing a day here and there might not seem like much, but absence add up. If a student misses just two days a month, they will miss 20 days a year. That's 30 hours of Mr. Dean's class you've missed and 60 hours of reading over the course of the school year. By the time you graduate, you have missed a whole year of school. Here's a brief message from Harada. Trudel, here's your 10 minute rule. Teachers, students should not be in the hallway the first or last 10 minutes of class, especially without a hall pass. Also students, as a reminder, please do not forget your locker break time. Thanks, Gerardo. Now it's time for sports. Listen up, scholars. Springtime is right around the corner. Our spring sports here are boys soccer, baseball, softball, and girls and boys track and field. If you are interested in participating, please see the following coaches. Coach Moore for boys soccer, Coach T. Smith for baseball, Coach Johnson for softball, Coach Deans for boys track and field, and Coach Whitey for girls track and field. I can't wait. Eighth graders, listen up. For those who are interested going to optional schools, like Central, Craigmont, Douglas, or East, you must apply by January 29th. Um, that's today. Go see Ms. Weston for more info. Remember, the high school transition fair will be February 22nd. We will have various high schools here to talk to you. Return your order form and money ASAP. Students, do you have your clear backpacks? If not, Ms. Moore has some for sale in room 310. They're only $10. If your backpack is not clear, you will not be allowed through the TM TIC's TSA line. Get yours today. Thanks for reminding us about our backpacks, Ashley. Every day, new scholars arrive here at the well. Here we have sixth grader Jonathan G to go over the rules and expectations for our new and old scholars. Man, one, remember clear backpacks. Two, scholars walk to the right side of the hallway. Three, no hoodies and no crocs. For going and from lunch, we are in level zero. Five, must wear uniform daily. daily. Sixth grade, gray shirts. Seventh grade, black shirts. Eighth grade, red shirts. Shirts are worn with khaki, black, or blue. Pants. Mr. Hill says there's no excuse for not being in uniform. At Trail, we're always checking for five. This means if you're here every single day, you'll receive a out of uniform pass for Fridays. Make sure you're here every single day for to receive your out of uniform pass. But remember, your clothes must be school appropriate. No holes in jeans, no cutoffs, no crop or tank tops, no tights, and still no crocs. Okay, scholars, during our transition to and from lunch, we can lose our incentives. So make sure you're on zero going to the lunchroom and back. I know, right? I like coming out of uniform on Fridays. Speaking of Fridays, this Friday, we will kick off Black History Month with a short program. Then, February 29th, join us as we have our TICS Black History program. Walk through time as we explore the Harlem Renaissance. There will be different exhibits in classrooms, musical sections, performance, and more. Before we get our day started, Mrs. Weston and Mrs. Connor want us to remind you about our Peace Day incentive. In order to receive this incentive, you must stay fight free. So if you know about a fight, please say something. All right, scholars, let's have an amazing day. Remember, in the words of Ms. McKinney, we love you and there ain't nothing you, you can, can do about it. it. See you next week. Bye.